Hello everyone, welcome back to the Antisocial Club. I'm Diamond Alexis. Today we're going to be doing Silk Sonic's album. It's called A Evening with Silk Sonic. I'm super excited. We waited so long on this album to hear it leave the door open about 50 million times just for them to release Skate. To hear that 50 million times just for them to uh, release uh, Smoking Out the Window. Just for her, let us hear that 50 million times. Just for them to release the album, and it's only 30 minutes long. And we've already heard four of the nine songs. Because I've heard the intro too. But the intro, I mean, it's, it's a song, but it's not really a song. Um, so I've heard the first song, I've heard the second song, I've heard the fifth song, and I've heard the eighth song. So I'm only getting what? one two four new songs it's a mess it's a mess five new songs whatever anywho but yeah nevertheless i'm still excited can't wait to hear it um i'm sure it's gonna be good i'm hoping it's gonna be good as good as the singles that they released um but yeah anyways that's enough talking let's get straight into it type of album i love like the 70s era it's my favorite especially when it comes to like attire and like aesthetic and stuff like that like i wish i dressed like i was in the 70s 24 7 but part of me still wants to be modern <laughs> um so i love that song uh it almost kind of reminded me of like a pharrell song damn i don't even know who i was last night Computer Love by Zap. 
I believe is the name of the artist. Uh, y'all know the song I'm talking about. Computer. Y'all know. Anyways, it reminded me of that song. I know that song came out in the 80s. Um, but I'm liking the album so far. I love, like, um, I guess you would classify it as, like, funk. I don't know who told them to to link up together. I don't know if they came up with that idea on their own or like how Anderson Pack and Bruno Mars link up was like how it happened. But I'm glad it did. <laughs> and I'm sure everybody is. It's the collab we never knew that we needed. Like I would have never put them two together in my head. But now that they're together, it's like I'm glad that they did do it. I can't wait to see what they're gonna do like in the future when they throw like other artists in their like songs with them too. Um, I think that'd be good. I think they'll do great doing songs with people like Steve Lacey, uh, Sid, uh, Raven Lene, Mo uh, Victoria Monet, you know, people like that who kind of also have a kind of like. I don't know, like an old school feel to their music. I would love to see that in the future. But anyways, next song. I'm so tender, so sweet. But now she got me smoking out the window. Must have spent 35, 45,000 up in Tiffany's. to learn that dance and when I learn that dance I'm gonna show y'all that I've learned that dance I know it basically but I don't know this one has crack in it it's so good it's funny I love the video like I'm a video person I love music videos and so the music video made me like the song even more because the music video is spectacular especially on the second part where um anderson pack came in for his verse and they did the little leg part between the cameras and the lighting and everybody being so in sync like it's just perfect <laughs> anywho i could go on and on about the music video but next song Ain't no shame begging in the rain. Tell her how you really feel. I could pretend when I'm not with my friends. I ain't thinking about you. When I called you out your name, that was my ego, my family thing. It reminded me, it sounded like a song that would have been on that album. 
I love how they kind of did, because they both make this type of music. So I love how they did a mashup of basically both of their sounds. Um, I like how they also passed the, um, they passed, what, what, am, what am I trying to say? One will sing, one will say the chorus or the pre-chorus, and then the next go around, the other one will do the pre-chorus. I like how they switched that up. Um, it's a good song. Bruno, Bruno be singing. Like, Anderson Pat can sing, but you know, Br Bruno Mars is like a singer, singer. Bruno Mars is singing, okay? <laughs> They should have did a long like break. I know they had the guitar, which if they go on tour, which I hope they do, and they have a live band, which most likely they will, because both of them, I believe, have bands. Um, hearing that guitar part will be, it will be, what's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> It'll be nice. Um, so I feel like they should have made that part a little longer, especially with the guitar. But it was really good. Um, I really like this album a lot. Um, I say I wish they would have gotten it, made it longer, but sometimes short and sweet is good. And I think it was just long enough. Um, Cause I thought, because we've already heard four of the songs already, I was thinking, oh, it's not gonna, it's not gonna seem long enough. But actually, it's. It seemed it was all right. It's good because you can listen to it on a loop. Every song was really good. Um, no skips, which is like it's good because if it was longer, you might have had some songs where you're just like, mm, I don't know about that. I'm gonna have to skip that song a few times. You know what I mean? So I think because they kept it so short, the album, it makes you want to listen to the whole thing um, all the way through every time you listen to it. But I really liked it. Um, I hope on that one song that I was uh, talking about, I believe it's After Last Night, or no, it was Put On A Smile. I believe Bootsy in the 
beginning of that song was saying that it's okay to beg in the rain. I hope they do a video for it and it has them like out in the rain. Cause I think, cause they, they have so far made all of their videos kind of like, uh, especially with the smoking out the window video made it kind of funny. So them like begging out in the rain, I think that would be funny, especially since we don't really get that too much anymore in like um, music videos, people like doing stuff out in the rain and stuff. So I think that'd be cool. But anyways, the album was really good. I really enjoyed it. Definitely gonna give it another listen. Um, so far, based off my first listen, I would give it a 10. Um, definitely, definitely give it a 10. I loved it. I loved every single song. Uh, some I liked a lot more than others, but overall, they were all really good. Um, yeah, I liked, they're both of their personalities seem like they go together. In their music, I never realized until they actually became a group, actually go together a lot. Um, I can't wait to see what they do in the future. Hopefully they bring like older artists back. I would love to see them do songs with a bunch of older artists who kind of have this similar sound um, or had this similar sound back in the day. Um, I think that would be nice or even artists now that have similar sound to that. Like I said, like Steve Lacey, Tyler the Creator, um, Victoria Monet, a bunch of different artists. Ari Lennox would have sounded great on a song. Um, I can't wait to see what they do in the future, who they'll bring to like feature if they decide to do features in the uh, later on. But yeah, hopefully they go on tour because I will definitely go. But yeah, let me know what y'all think about the album. I thought it was great. Let me know what you like, what you didn't like. Make sure y'all leave a comment, all that great stuff. Um, make sure y'all share and subscribe. Leave comments. Turn on y'all's post notifications so y'all can see every time I post a new video. Stuff like that. Um, yeah, just let me know y'all's thoughts. If y'all thought it was as great as I thought it was. Uh, tell me who y'all would think they would be great collabing with. But yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, and I will see y'all in my next video. Bye.